So I'm going to be showing how to make a simple particle system like what I use in this little scene here. So when I shoot the uh, the house here, it kind of explodes and you can see that it leaves little particles. And then after the uh, objects stay for a little while, they despawn and shoot out little particles as well. So I'm just going to be showing how I do this in uh, up BGE. So we're going to start out with a simple scene. I just added a plane here for the floor. Then I'm going to add in a empty. We're going to name this empty particles. Then we can go into our second layer, add in a cube, make this cube a rigid body, and turn collisions on. We can then go into game logic, go into uh, I press 3 so I can go into a side view. We're going to add in always and put this always on tap. Then we can add a motion. I just press T to quickly add one. Then we can add a force on the Z axis of let's say uh, 250. So when we press play, you can see that it just kind of bounces up for a second. In fact, we can even make this 350 to make it a little bit more uh, exaggerated like that. The cool thing about this is when it's on tap, it'll only add that uh, force once. So after, if you don't add this tap, it'll just do, uh, it'll just fly off into oblivion. So what we're going to do next is take this cube Let's give it a material, so it's easily easy scene. Uh, I'm just going to give it kind of a dust look to it. Take that intensity down and that hardness, so it's not so intense, I guess. So what we can do is duplicate this cube, and also just to give it a little bit more uh, randomness in motion, I'm going to add it on the x-axis. I'm just going to make this. Uh, like 18. In fact, let's do uh, negative uh, 25. There it goes, and it'll just kind of bounce away. So now, okay, now I can just duplicate this. I like to uh, just make random scale, rotate 180 degrees. Duplicate again, scale it again, give it a little rotation, do the same thing, scale, rotate. Just do this until you have enough particles that uh, look good to you. Then you can also take this uh, center part uh, particle and give it just a tiny, a tiny bit more. So let's make this 400, duplicate it, scale it, get rid of... Uh, the x-axis so that way it just kind of goes straight up in the air like so so now you have some that fly off to the side and then uh, a couple in the middle that just go straight up in the air a little bit more variety there give it a good old save so we don't lose anything we're going to box select just press B and drag and then we're going to go to the relations tab add a new group make this group uh, dirt underscore particles then we can go into the next layer beside it add group instance dirt particles so I'm going to click on my particle spawner I'm going to add a keyboard I'm going to say when I press K it's going to spawn an object so edit object click on here type in particles your uh, dirt particles that you uh, named for that uh, group instance will show up. So dirt particles, click that. I'm going to set it to a time of 300. So after uh, 300 uh, ticks, it will despawn the object. So we don't end up with particles staying forever and lagging out the game. So let's press P. Actually, let's give her a save. Press P. And then when I press K, we got particle spawning. So yeah, that's the simple particle system. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a like and uh, 
give a good old comment in the comment section if you uh, want to see anything else. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next.